Hello, good morning. Welcome to Hour of Destiny Daily Devotional and Spiritual Breakfast with Reverend Mike Eniola. Welcome to Tuesday, the 19th day of November 2024. Open your mouth this morning and begin to say Amen as I bless you prophetically. Today, I want to pray for uh, those of us, those people that are having health challenge. You know that as I'm speaking right now, your health, your well-being is under serious attack. I want you to agree with me this morning as I pray a prayer of healing for everyone who is undergoing attack on his or her health. The Bible says, God says that I am the Lord that healeth thee. He said, none of the, none of the reproach that I brought upon the Egyptians will I allow to come to you. And he also says that whatever we shall ask in his name, he will do it. So I want you to agree with me this morning, even as I pray from this altar, for everyone believing God for healing and wholeness, receive your healing right away in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus is the healer. He heals without medication. So anywhere you are, hearing the sound of my voice this beautiful Tuesday morning, I command the healing power of God to touch you right now. Be healed and be free in Jesus' name. I don't know what name doctors may have called the, the, you know, the, the sickness. I don't know what the diagnosis may be saying. But what I know is that there is a God in heaven who is the greatest healer. We found is nobody heals like him. So as I'm praying for you this morning and you are saying, Amen. Receive your healing right now in the name of Jesus. You are the one that the Lord put in my heart to pray for this morning. Everyone who is sick, whether in the hospital or at home, or you are still walking about on the street, roaming around, but I'm praying for you today that the hand of the healer will touch you from your head down to your feet. Receive healing permanently in Jesus' name. Oh, I am praying for somebody. I can hear in the spirit somebody say, Pastor Indiola, I've been bedridden for so for a long time. Yes, it doesn't matter for how long you have been on that situation. What I'm seeing and what I'm praying for is that the hand of the Lord will touch you gently. The Lord will minister healing to you that no man will be able to take the glory. He will do it for himself and by himself. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, be healed. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of God, rise up and begin to walk. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, get up and begin to do what you have not been able to do for months or years. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever the name or the nature of the sickness is, I don't care. Because I know I have a God who heals. So, in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, receive your healing now. You that it is your marriage that is sick. Somebody, it is your finances. It is your business. Your, you just know that so many things, Pastor, your ministry is sick. I prophesy healing right away in Jesus' name. Every one of us, as we step out today, I want to decree that the Lord will journey with you. The Almighty Father will take glory. He will take charge of all that concerns you today. In Jesus' name, as you will be going out in peace, so you will return back home in peace, and God's name shall be glorified. In Jesus' name, you are blessed and you are lifted. Somebody shout a believing amen. Key to this prayer today, and then you will, set, you will testify about your healing very, very soon. Hallelujah. Today, in our Bible reading, we are reading the last two chapters of the book of Acts of the Apostles. We are reading chapters 27 and 28. Acts of the Apostles, chapters 27 and 28. Please read those two chapters and the Lord will minister to you. In our daily devotional with God, daily devotional, we are on page 339. Page 339. The heavenly meal is titled, He that covers is sin. He that covers is sin. You know what the Bible says? Anyone who covers is sin. The word of God says that person will not prosper. But if you confess and you forsake, 
you will obtain mercy. So read your devotional, whether the hard copy you have or the soft copy we are sending uh, with the devotional. Make sure you read, you study, and meditate. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Let me take maybe two or three testimonies, very short one. The first one I'm taking all the way from Sokoto. It's a testimony, testimony, testimony. Good morning, servant of the Most High. I've been sick. I've been sick since Friday, 20th of September this year with fever and severe headache that could not go down after, even after taking drugs. While lying down listening to your devotional this morning, Saturday, Sunday, 22nd of September, I remembered my mantle. Then I picked it from my car, placed it on my head, and I slept. I woke up now totally and completely healed. May your anointing continue to flow in Jesus' mighty name. I'm so so person from Sokoto State. Amen. That's a great one. Your healing is permanent. Another one is here. Hallelujah. Daddy, kindly share my testimony. The Lord has honored your prayers on my nephew who has been diagnosed with liver problem. It got so critical and I called you to help me to pray to God for healing over him. And you prayed and prophesied that hand of death on him has been cancelled in the name of Jesus. Today, he is healed of the disease because God honored your prayers. Daddy, thank you for availing yourself to God for the salvation and deliverance of humanity. Continue to soar on the lost wings till we all get to heaven in Jesus' name. I'm so so person from Jaws. Wow, that's a good one. Another testimony is here. This was a good morning, servant of God. I want to thank El Rohi for coming through for me. I've been following up a medical treatment to an accident I had in 2019. Last week, Thursday, I visited the clinic as usual. I was checked and drugs prescribed. I bought the tablet for 15,000 naira. As I used my bike to return from the hospital, the tablet of 15,000 naira fell off from the bike without me noticing it. I felt bad. However, I was not too worried. I put a call through, I put a call through to two friends and I told them my predicament. Each of them blessed me with 10,000 naira each. Hallelujah. As if, as if that was it enough of God's kindness. Today being Monday, I visited the hospital again. I saw one of my junior and a friend walking in the hospital. I told him what happened, that the hospital NHIS said they didn't have the drugs to give me, so I had to buy the tablets outside, yet it got lost. He felt sorry and told me that they have those tablets in their own department, and they gave those tablets to me all for free. The full dose of the tablet will cost me more than 30000 but I initially bought a little quantity of 15,000 naira to start. That my junior colleague gave me a full dose of that drug for, of that drug for free. I have come to say I'm grateful to El Rohi, the God that sees me. May all praises be ascribed to his name. I have also paid my tithe. Wow. You are permanently healed, beloved, in Jesus' name. Now today, I want us to look at the word of God. To start from where we finished yesterday on the subject of protecting or protect your dream. I told us yesterday it is within your power and frame of mind to make sure that you guide and protect your dream. I also told us that the dream I'm talking about is not the dream of uh, you sleep and you see yourself in another, in maybe your hometown or village. We are talking about dreams of good things that you have. Or that God have revealed to you. I said yesterday that many people have aborted their dreams by themselves because they don't know how to keep it. This morning, let's begin to look at somebody may want to say, Pastor Enola, how do I protect, how do I keep or guide my dream? You recall yesterday we read from the book of Genesis, chapter 37. We used the story of uh, this young man, uh, Joseph, as a case study. He had a dream. He told his brothers, they hated him. Then he had another one. And he told them, Bible said, they hated him the more. One of the problems, yes, somebody may want to say, Pastor Nella, but it later ended in praise for Joseph. Yes, but for God's mercy. One of the problems that Joseph had was unbridled tongue. As you are hearing me this morning, the number one way of protecting your dream is by 
you know, bridle your tongue. It is not everything you say out at once. There are some things you don't need to announce it. By the time it comes out, everybody will see it. All eyes will see it. Let's look at the book of First Samuel. First Samuel chapters, uh, chapter 10. First Samuel chapter 10. Then we are going, if you look at it from verse 1, the Bible talking about you know, Samuel anointed Saul to become king. And uh, that was the first anointing. They had an encounter at Ramah. And as he was going, Samuel told him, the Spirit of God is going to come upon you. You will get in contact with some company of prophets. You will prophesy with them. And then if you look at it from verse, um, verse 14, 1 Samuel chapter 10 from verse 14. 1 Samuel 10 from verse 14. Let's read. I'm reading New Living Translation. Where have you been? Saul's uncle asked him. That is his uncle asked him. And asked him and his servant we were looking for the donkeys Saul replied but we couldn't find them so we went to Samuel to ask him where they were then verse 15 oh and what did what did he say that is his uncle asked him what did he say his uncle asked then look at verse 16 he told us that the donkeys had already been found Saul replied but Saul didn't tell his uncle what Samuel said about the kingdom if you look at it from King James, that was uh, that was fifteen or verse sixteen, verse fifteen. He says, and Samuel said to his uncle, he, he told us plainly that the hatches were found, but of the matter of the kingdom, whereof which Samuel spake, he told him not. Samuel Saul did Saul, Saul kept moot in that area. He only told his uncle the the prophecy that concerns the hash, the, the the donkeys. But as for the for him becoming king tomorrow, he kept quiet. There are many people today, like I said yesterday, who have exposed themselves to enemies, thinking that they were friends. That is why, even in our church, there are some testimonies I don't allow parishioners or congregants to share in the church because church is a public place. You don't know who is who is in church. So there are some testimonies, even on the platform of Hour of Destiny, there are many people who have accused me. Some said, the people you are sharing their testimony, are they giving you some, are they giving you money? Are they so special to you? Why have not shared my testimony? Beloved, if you have not heard me say it, hear it now. It is not every testimony we can share on this platform. During this uh, just concluded program in the city of Mina, one of my spiritual sons who came to attend a meeting from Shiroro, in Shiroro local government area of Niger, say, where bandits were holding sway because I say where I believe they are no longer there. We have already expelled them by the grace of God. He came to see me during the council hour and he shared a testimony. He said, Daddy, this testimony I cannot share it on the crusade ground, but if I have your permission, I can share it in the church service tomorrow morning. This kind of testimony I can't share it in the and I, I reasoned with him as you are hearing me this morning. It is not everything you say out. I told us yesterday there are dream killers, there are dream, dream destroyers, there are dream, there are envious people. Imagine if Saul had told his uncle about what Samuel told him about him becoming king tomorrow. What do you think that the uncle would have done to Samuel and to Saul? So Joseph did not breathe his tongue. He opened his mouth and he said everything. That reminds me the story of a sister many years ago in Mina who had been believing God for fruit of the womb and suddenly God remembered her and her husband and blessed her with pregnancy after many years. Then the pregnancy was not up to three months, still at the formative year. She went to women fellowship. So women fellowship, there are some people who have more than two eyes. No, she went to women fellowship and she put up her hand to share testimony. How she was already pregnant my pregnancy is about to clock three months. Oh, they say, praise God. Two or three days later, she started bleeding and she lost the pregnancy. Oh, somebody may want to say, Pastor Nella, what is the meaning of that? Breathe your tongue. There is not everything you say. When, you, when the things start manifesting, everybody will see it. But well, if you don't know how to breathe your tongue, you will run into trouble. If not for the mercies of God, Joseph wouldn't have become what God ordained for him because his brother did everything practically possible for them to eliminate him. 
I will continue on this tomorrow. Protect and guide your dream. Number one, bridle your tongue. I will continue from here tomorrow. Remember to read your Bible today, the book of Acts of the Apostles, chapters 27 and 28, and read your devotional on page 339 with the heavenly meal that is titled, He That Covers His Sin. God bless you. Have a lovely Tuesday and enjoy the rest of your day. Amen.